Fractal's gone backwards, but made an innovative case anyway. Good afternoon, morning. Welcome to Turbo Tortoise Tech. If you're new here, I'm Reese the Four Piece Variety of Wiki Triple XL. And I just suppose, suppose, I suppose, it would be good to qualify that statement of why it's kind of gone backwards. Well, the power supply is now in the roof again, not in the basement, which is what we're used to with general cases. But this has been set up specifically for premium air cooled builds, and you can use it for water cooling as well. Doesn't mean that it can't do water cooling. It's just I don't really think it's the focus for this case. I think this is the format that they intended for you to use it in, is a premium air-cooled type setup. And yes, you could put a fan at the back over here, but you probably wouldn't even need to. I can actually feel the breeze of the airflow coming through the case from those two massive 180 mil fans up front. It has got one of the prettiest looking setups. And like I said, a very clever and innovative layout. So let's go through what's in the box. Packaging, is very very nice you get this like really nice inset setup with all of the spares that are included this is to modify your front panel so that it has rails on it for 120 mil fans or 140 mils uh, from what i understand but yeah this is to modify the front rails which are currently set up for those two big 180s in but i think you're going to want to keep those it's a big proponent of buying this case. Maybe you just like the way it looks and then you can modify it to have a standard intake setup or exhaust or you'll see. This thing's got a lot of functionality built into it. It's the, the all of the stuff, like all of the metals and stuff are very, very nice for things like Pizza Express slot holders. It comes with this very nice little cloth as well. It's like a proper microfiber type like lens cloth that it comes with as well. So you can make sure your glass and stuff is clean. Um, my business partner absolutely loves building stuff with gloves on so it doesn't show fingerprints. But if you were to have fingerprints, there's a beautiful little fractal cloth that they do include in there for you, which I thought was a nice touch. One of the other nice touches is the GPU bracket. While it doesn't have an arm that it can swing left and right, if your GPU is long enough for either of the two rail points, then you can sit this sucker underneath it and it has a tiny little rubber finger, like a grommet, that then holds and sits and pushes it up. So nice job including that and then this is your screw box and it's got all of the different information for the screws on the back over here so you know which is which which is kind of nice touch wise and one of the best and most comprehensive manuals i've ever seen this is like super detailed on do on your setups and your orientations for things like water cooling speaking of orientation let's talk about the case and the layout and you'll see why this thing is so different and kind of innovative in space. So the bottom is actually intended for the water cooling. It's completely mesh. You can see it's got a channel there for 120 mil and 140 mil cooling. So you could put a 280 mil rad down there and then you're supposed to channel your cables down to the bottom like that. The reason that I don't really like that is because if you've seen some of the other videos and stuff of water cooling, it's going to make the pump the high point of the build where that it's better if it's up top because then the air is going to sit naturally on the top of the pump like that and your motor is going to wear out over time so i don't think that is it, it can be used like that but i don't think that's the honest intention i think what they want you to do is fold it up with fans that can then push as well up into your cooling over there because your power supply is now part of the loop of the machine the power supply being in the top over here the cooling point is set at the bottom but if we peel back the top over here, and I'll give you a close-up over there, you can see that's where the three and a quarter inch bay is as well for your one three and a quarter inch drive if you were to have that. You can also put it further up front like that to make space for a bigger power supply, but I don't think that you're gonna wanna do that because then it makes getting all the cables from the front out an absolute nightmare. This is, however, big people Lego. As you can see, everything just fits together like that, including the side panel, which just pops off there's two little clip-in points over there there is a screw point in the middle which i did need to use for the back because the channeling while is it is excellent my power supply isn't and <laughs> some of the cables were a little bit short and didn't make nice angles because of how thick they are like side to side like that it did make it a little bit cumbersome you can see with the gpu just ever so slightly reaching like that it didn't make the process that much easier as far as ports and the stuff at the bottom go as well, 
There's only one right at the back for the audio. The others at the front over there are all on the Garrett style. So you have to come out like that. There's nothing to hook in around the bottom. So just be aware of that when you build that that is going to be your cable channeling and setup uh, inside of the case. But the channeling at the back is extremely good. There's even a, a set of cable ties, like four sets uh, along the back edge over here for your a 12 volt rail if you need to or if you're running cables down the back to come out of that hole over there from a cooling system or fans and stuff that you're putting in the bottom they're all going to have to go through that port at the bottom over there so i think you can see this is a bit of a different setup but i for air cooled builds it's extremely extremely good to be honest especially with those two 180s at the front they are enormous incredibly thick as well they have super good high uh, air pressure they're basically completely open over there it's just mesh and then the channeling to for effect i would say it's probably 80 percent or more clearance up front so there's almost nothing holding those fans back and they are strong they got like a 1300 rpm max speed is what i observed and uh, as far as noise profile goes actually not too bad even at full chat there was sub 50 well about what 55 56 over there on the sound meter um and then 75 it you know drops and but 50 percent is where they become uh, like a quiet hum and 25% it's as it is now it's basically completely inaudible but you've still got pretty damn good airflow going through the case if you were to have a really big block a double block that extends back like that over here with uh, two 120s and then say you put another 140 at the back over here you've got two more 120s at the bottom pushing in that's an incredibly large amount of airflow. And even one, even if you did have a 140 of the back over here, it probably wouldn't pull out enough. So that's why they've left this just open with honeycomb. And especially on the PCI Express holders as well, you can see there, it's just basically completely open so that the air can just push through the case, which is probably gonna be interesting with regard to dust buildup. As long as there's static pressure though, because of the intakes here and the intakes up front, then the, the easily removable meshes are going to be the ones that clog up dust and then those are going to be much easier to clean. Overall, I do like this layout, but like I said, I, I genuinely think that it's made more with the intention of doing an air-cooled build with a fat boy set up like that. And to that end, that's why we have the AK400 on here. I did test it on the open air. I did do a test with the 3070 Ti, but it was too big to actually fit into this mid-size case. So, yeah, it's not, this is not long boy GPU friendly. It was short by like a couple, literally like two millimeters. I tried everything to get it in there. I was going to go get my Kulu hammer and try and smash it in there, but well, I thought I'd like to maybe not break stuff for a change on the channel. It'd be, it'd be better like that. So we're just going to show you those 864 results and the clock speeds were almost identical regardless. Uh, I didn't find a big difference between 50% and 100% fan as well because there's just so much surface area on those 180 mils that even with the RPM increase, you're not going to get like uber different performance, which is a good thing because that means you can run them much lower. They look absolutely fantastic. This is one of the prettiest looking cases I've ever tested and anybody who's seen this build is just kind of drooled over the case more so even than the components which are kind of average looking in there i gotta be real so yeah I'd, i think it's a cool unique take i don't like the bottom mount idea for the water cooling i think that's a, probably not the best suggestion because then the hard point is going to be the pump when it's going to get full of air so if you were to do that you'd have to take out the two big 180s up front and rather use the rails and then set it up front and then that's kind of defeating the purpose, isn't it, of a case and set up like this. So premium air cooled, I think it's fantastic for that. Uh, it's got a couple of mounts on the back as well for two and a half inch SSDs, but you're going to want to have most of your SSD on your motherboard. Uh, and I think if you're spending 2,700 Rand on a case, which is what this mid size costs, then even more power to you to rather just put everything on the motherboard from a storage perspective. There is also a smaller build, which I think would make a brilliant MATX build. I actually want one for my MATX setup now because of that 180mm fan up front. It's just flipping cool, isn't it? Anywho, that's all I have for you on the Fractal Torrent. If you have enjoyed this review, then please do hit us up with the like and subscribe. And I'll see you on the flip side. I can't sleep.